Alright guys, welcome to your sixth tutorial and in this video we're going to be talking about the keyboard editor. So the keyboard editor is the button right next to your graph editor, but before we do this I want to set up this tutorial by playing a new channel. So I'm going to be adding, I don't know, we'll fill in each of these four steps to the clap channel and I also want to solo this. So right now if you play it, our pattern, we only hear the clap and that's all I want for this tutorial. It sounds a little bit uh it sounds a little bit better than a kick channel or anything and you'll see later on. So basically, open the keyboard editor by clicking the button and make sure that you have the clap channel selected. Now, having the channel selected basically means that you're telling FL Studio that you want to work with it. It's different than having the channel muted or not. So, if we want to work with the kick channel, we have to click this little light to the right of the name. So now we're working with the kick channel, now we're working with the hat, now the vocals, and again like I said, in this tutorial we want to work with the clap channel. So first thing you notice is that it looks like a bunch of pianos pressed together. And that's basically what it is. Just like whenever you play a new note on the piano, it plays a different pitch. This keyboard editor is going to allow you to change the pitch of each note. Simple enough. That's uh, you know, a really quick one two tutorial. So another thing I want to point out is that the only keys you have to worry about are the ones that are dark orange. If something is light orange, it means that of course the note is not active or it isn't playing. Now if you want to, for example, make this note active, you can either click it up here and as you can see it turned dark orange or you can actually just click a key and whenever you do, the note activates in your pattern. <coughs> mm, sorry, got whooping cough, kennel cough, whatever you want to call it, black lung, I don't know. So, let me go ahead and actually fill these in every two steps. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a really bad sounding pattern just to demonstrate. All right, so this is going to get higher and then lower pitch. It's going to sound terrible, but it's going to demonstrate what the keyboard editor does. All right, so obviously you would never, ever want to include that in your song. If you did, then you should probably just throw away your computer. But that demonstrates the different pitch of each note. So that's what the keyboard editor does. Now let's go ahead and do something fun since I have uh, about two more minutes for this tutorial. And <coughs> uh, phlegm, 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 gotta clear my throat. And what I wanna do now is, oh, another thing I wanna point out is just like the graph editor, say we have something like this. Actually, I'll show you guys something cool. Um, go ahead and solo kick. So kick's the only thing playing right now. Now what we want to do is it, we can go ahead and paint this using the left mouse just like we did the uh, graph editor. So now if we go ahead and paint a little curve right here, this is the effect whenever you're listening to, listening to you know, like a techno or dance beat. Right before it drops, it goes like that. So let me go ahead and play this and uh, I'll show you guys. Wait, let me start. It wasn't at the beginning. So if you guys ever want to achieve that effect real quick, this is a very simple way to do that. But anyways, the thing I wanted to point out is, just like the graph editor as well, whenever you hold control on your keyboard, you can go ahead and drag this entire thing up and down. So if you got the pattern that you like, but you just want it either a higher or lower pitch, then again, that's control on your keyboard and drag. So now we got... All right, so there you go. Now the last thing I want to do, just because I'm curious, this has nothing to do with the tutorial, but I want to solo the vocal channel. And uh, actually, let's get rid of this. This is going to sound... <laughs> this is going to sound real stupid, but I'm very curious. I've never done this before. Uh, actually, what do I want to do with this? I'll go to set everything... Let me just set everything to C. So let's listen to this entire pattern. Rock 
me baby rock me baby rock me baby all right that's what we want rock me baby now i never did this before but what happens when you change the pitch of the voice um i don't think they can just do that they probably speed it up or slow it down so let's rock me it. baby <laughs> wow that's awesome so let me i'm just playing around now rock me baby Wow, that sounds like a that actually sounds like a baby that is telling its mom and dad rock me. Rock just, me baby. <laughs> mom, dad, rock me baby. Rock me baby. All right, that's kind of messed up. Rock me baby. Wow, what the h? Rock me baby. <laughs> rock me baby. <laughs> rock me baby. Oh. Wow, that was uh okay. I'm sorry I made you guys listen to that. If you unsubscribe and vote this video down I will understand perfectly because you probably won't be able to sleep tonight but if you manage to stay subscribed then check out my next video and uh, I promise I'll quit goofing around and I'll teach you something cool